Hey guys, this is Mona with Rock City Tumblers, and um, I was going to try some something new, an experiment. So you guys know how we have the mold for these car coasters. So the mold, um, you make the mold with the glitter or whatever, and you put it in your car, and it blings up your car coaster, your your cup area, and then you, you pull it out and clean it. All that fun stuff. So, um, I have a couple of crevices here and here that I would like to bling up as well. So, my idea is that I am going to make a little template of this space using this paper. And then I'm going to make a mold, a flat mold. Before it's completely cured, I'm going to trim it um, to fit this template that I make. So, um, it's kind of hard to hold the camera and lay this flat this is just a piece of craft paper so what i'm doing is i'm pushing it flat down and trying to get the creases to um show me the the edges of the space so um i can't hold my phone and do this at the same time so um, i'm going to mash it and i'll come back and show you before i trim it okay so i've got it um mashed down so I can kind of see, so I'm going to trim this and then see if it fits back in. Right. I'm going to repeat these same steps for this little space right here. So that I can bling this spot right here. Hi guys, it's Mona. I'm back. So, um, the next step in attempting to make the inserts for my car is that I need to get a big, um, thing of epoxy going flat. And then, um, once it gets semi-cured, I'm going to trim out these pieces. So I'll probably trace these on parchment paper since parchment paper doesn't stick to curing epoxy. So, um, these are for my Dodge Durango, so this is that front cubby, um, like where the cigarette lighter USBs are, and then this is the one that's, um, right by the little console that opens to put change or ink pens or something. So, I'm going to mix 120 mils of FX Black Label Epoxy, and, um, it'll hopefully fill up this whole thing really thin. I'm going to use Radioactive, their signature color glitter in it and to match the coaster holder that I already have. All right, so I will see y'all um, in just a little bit. I'm going to do a time lapse so you can kind of watch what I what I do. This is sitting on a, um, a storage bin from Michael's and this is just a silicone mat that typically we use for a work area. But um, it is uh, big enough and it's got sides to keep the epoxy from from falling out all right see you when I get finished bye Hi guys, I'm back. So um, I have mixed my 120 mils of FX Black Label Epoxy and I have added the radioactive glitter into my mixture. It's so sparkly. It's one of the prettiest glitters. So, um, I want it to kind of have a clear effect. Let's 
I don't want it to be completely um, solid with glitter. So um, this is sunk in just a little bit. I'm trying to figure out a way to make sure it's kind of an even surface. dog wants in. I think I had something that I could put in there. It's a little bit too tall. So this blue mat is um, available on a lot of glitter websites. It might even be on Amazon. I think I got it from a buy-in website. But it's got these edges, so it's going to keep the, um, it's going to make one giant square of epoxy. So, a little bit of crud. So I have not used it um, for anything. It's brand new. So, um, hopefully 120 mils was enough. Um, it'd be nice if I have some left over so I can make the additional car coaster that I need to make. So, we shall see. I can mix up more if it's not. Um, Alright. And then I have um, the 91% alcohol to spritz on to get any bubbles. So, since this is relatively thin, it should... Um, the bubble should pop pretty easy. So pretty. seems to be kind of staying there in the middle which is good because I really don't need this whole surface area I need enough for that and that and that needs a little bit more that just to touch it all right hopefully that'll be enough let me put the last of it here in this coaster mold So I will come back to this in maybe an hour or so, and if it's set up enough, I will um, 
try to cut my templates out, which is an experiment, so I don't really know how that's going to work. I don't really even need this really thick, but the fold is causing it to So originally I was thinking of filling the entire thing, but I think that's a waste of epoxy. All right, we'll see what it does. After about an hour, we'll spritz this on. Pop the bubbles. So pretty. All right, I will keep y'all updated. Hey guys, I was checking in. It's been an hour and it's still a little bit tacky to the touch. So we're going to let it sit a little bit longer. Looks like it may have shrunk some. because it's not level. So we might have to do another one to get the second piece. We shall see. The plastic base is kind of sunk in. So we'll keep playing with it and I'll let you know. Hi guys, it's Mona. I'm back. It's been probably five hours or so. Took a lot longer than I thought for this to get ready to peel off this silicone mat. Alright, so this is the texture that I kind of wanted it to be. Put it on parchment paper because it won't stick to parchment paper. It's not supposed to anyway. Sure you can see that. Okay, so here's my template. You can see my mold shrank quite a bit because um, I didn't have it level. So now I got to figure out how can I get the most bang for my buck. That cuts it off a smidge. just have to live with it not being complete. I don't think I can stretch this any. Ooh. Might lose it. It's shine right there. Which is not good. Ooh, crap. that. I did stretch it just a smidge. I have to 
put some UV resin on top or something to get the shine back. This one would be more noticeable because it's up front. Okay. So now I gotta figure out how to cut it. I figure I could possibly just cut the whole thing, parchment paper and all. Get these bigger scissors. So that's what we got going. So this is um, the front cubby of my car. And then this is the little ink pen. I'm gonna get them in two pieces right now. That's my thoughts. All right, one, two. Okay, so we'll try the little one first. That way, if I have to remake it. I'm not remaking the big one. To me, this looks like that candied sugar, the Asimalt sugar. And they cook. And all those baking joes. I'm going to put this back on that epoxy, I mean that silicone mat. Maybe it'll keep the shine on the bottom. Tape on the tumbler. I gotta pull here in just a minute. All right. So that's the. Front little part. So I'm gonna smash that back on this 
blue silicone mat. Let's see if one side's shinier than the other. Not really. It's not the same thickness, but it's okay. It'll be in the car. It'll be flat. I'm not really worried about the thickness. It just keeps my ink pens and stuff, so. Next time I might make the little dam with the, um, Um, hot glue. All right, so let's go around this one. It's better when it's thinner. My dog is ready for bed. She's out there whining at me. She said, you've been in here all day, so I'm just... I guess I'm, I don't know what I'll do with that. There's some little, um... The little indentions for... hand where you pull your door. I might be able to put that in there. Should measure that now. Doesn't have to be perfect. Sparkly. finished. So um, FX Black Label takes a full 30 days to cure before the UV filter is really set up and since my car is out in the sun quite a bit, I'm going to leave these in the house. Um, I'm not going to, I mean I might go test it in the car maybe make any like shave off any edges that are too big but I'm not going to put it out there until a month that way um, it doesn't turn yellow I don't think it would and I guess I could make another one if it did all right so let's see what this looks like so stretching it wasn't ideal because grabbing onto it made it cloudy Ooh, that side's real shiny but over here it's kind of cloudy so I don't think there's anything I can do to make that perk back up it's not putting another layer of Epoxy on it. Today I'm going to put this on a flatter surface. Next time I'll level this out better.
so now that it's flat. So I'll let that cure and I will update you guys on how it does. So it's a lot thicker right there than it is over here, but at least it's some semblance of what I was going for. Alright, so I will update y'all soon. Bye. Hey guys, so I was going to show you the update. So this is the um, piece that I made in the video. So um, it should fit right here. Let's see if it does. Pretty good fit. I could try to round some edges off if I wanted to. If I want it um, with a Dremel. But um, I think that's pretty dang cool. And then this piece here was made to fit. And so it's just a little bit too big. So if I just go around the edges just a smidge, so that'll fit there. And then I have all blinged out console. So let me know if y'all try that. Um, and how it works out and so uh subscribe to my channel if you would for new ideas and thinking outside of the box and uh stay crafty my friends thanks for being a fan of rock city tumblers and supporting artists and we will see you next time bye